English for teachers. Twenty-six. A Guardian's meeting script. Good evening, everyone. Thank you for joining us today for this important Guardian's meeting. Today, we will be discussing two vital topics: mental health and extracurricular activities for our students. Let's start with mental math. And Master One, would you like to say a few words? Thank you, Doctor Ridoy. Mental health is crucial for the overall well-being of our students. We have noticed increased stress levels and anxiety among students, and we believe it's important to address these issues. Our psychology teachers, Psychology Teacher One and Psychology Teacher Two, have been working closely with students who are struggling. I'll let them share their observations. Thank you, Headmaster One. We have noticed that some students are feeling overwhelmed due to academic pressures, social challenges, and personal issues. It's crucial that we create a supportive environment and provide resources to help them cope. We suggest implementing regular counseling sessions and organizing workshops on stress management and self-care. Excellent suggestions. We'll certainly consider those. Now let's move on to extracurricular activities. At Master Two, would you like to update us on this? Absolutely, Doctor Ridoy. Extracurricular activities play a vital role in the holistic development of our students. We have a diverse range of options available, including sports, arts, and cultural activities. However. We would like to hear from our students about their preferences and suggestions. Rafia, Sneha, Priyanti, and Lamia, please share your thoughts. I believe that sports activities are essential for physical fitness and teamwork. We should have more inter-house competitions and opportunities to participate in district-level tournaments. I'm interested in the arts. It would be great if we could organize more drama and music events, and perhaps even establish an art club or a school band. I think community service activities are important. It would be great to have regular initiatives where we can volunteer and make a positive impact on society. I'm passionate about technology. It would be amazing if we could have coding and robotics club to foster our interest in STEM fields. Thank you, Rafia, Sneha, Priyanti, and Lamia, for your valuable input. We'll take your suggestions into account when planning our extracurricular activities. Now, let's summarize the decisions we have made today. First, we'll prioritize mental health by organizing. Regular counseling sessions and workshops on stress management and self-care. Second, we will enhance our extracurricular activities by incorporating more sports, competitions, art events, community service initiatives, and clubs focus on technology. We believe these steps will promote the holistic development and well-being of our students. Thank you, everyone, for your active participation and valuable insights. We are committed to implementing these changes and ensuring the best possible environment for our students. Let's work together to nurture their potential and well-being. Have a wonderful evening. Education is our passport to the future, but tomorrow belongs to the people who prepare for it today. Education is not just memorizing facts. Education is pondering for new knowledge. By Muhammad Yasser. Twenty-seven, a guardian's meeting script. Good morning, everyone. Let's begin our students' meeting on how to be proficient in English. Today we have some esteemed guests with us: the Tesal founder, Muhammad Yasser, and our CEO, Imdi Mahmud. I'll pass the floor to them.
Thank you, Mr. Tarek. Hello, everyone. I'm delighted to be here today. English proficiency is crucial for success in today's globalized world. Let's explore some strategies together. But before that, I'd like to hear your thoughts. Rafia, what do you think? Well, I think practicing English regularly is important. We should engage in conversations, read books, and watch English movies to improve our language skills. I agree with Rafia. Additionally, we can join language exchange programs and participate in language clubs enhance our speaking abilities. Building vocabulary is essential too. We can use flashcards, online apps, or even make word lists or learn new words every day. Listening to English podcasts and songs can help us improve our listening skills. Also, taking notes while listening can be beneficial. Those are excellent suggestions, students. Let's not forget about writing skills. Regularly writing essays, journal entries, or even maintaining a personal blog can help us develop our writing proficiency. I'd like to add that grammar plays a significant role in English proficiency. We should focus on understanding grammar rules and practicing them through exercises and quizzes. Well said, teachers. All those strategies are invaluable. However, we should also remember to have fun while learning English. Engaging in language games, quizzes and interactive activities can make the learning process enjoyable and effective. Thank you everyone for your valuable input. Based on our discussion, here is a summary of the meeting decisions.